All right, gonna go over the next particular problem here. Number five, the smallest multiple. I can do another synopsis of an answer I got and why it works. This one's pretty short, so it won't take very long, but yeah. 2520 is the smallest number that can be divided by each of the numbers from one to 10 without any remainder. What is the smallest positive number that is evenly divisible by all of the numbers from one to 20 in comparison to one to 10? All right, well, we're gonna have a couple things because we want stuff to be evenly divisible and other things. We're gonna have smallest. Smallest is gonna stand for the smallest positive number. Um, X and Y are gonna be used for evenly divisible, like the number going into the other number. We're gonna use one for, for a number, and then the other one we're gonna use um, as one to, so you see the answer there, as one to 20. Um, being divisible into that number. Or you're gonna see how we get this number in uh, uno momento. But we're gonna have these three variables. We're gonna initialize them. And we're just gonna do m solist, yes, yes. Now we're gonna have smallest equal to zero, alright? do a while loop while x is positive. Now x is going to stand for our number that may or may not be the smallest positive number that is evenly divisible and smallest positive number. So we include the check in a while loop while it is positive. And also each iteration of the loop we're going to reset our y. y will be standing for 1 to 20 in that range. We're going to have an inside while loop here. We're going to do x Modulus y is zero, so while x is evenly divisible by y, and we'll have while y is less than or equal to 20. Include both the checks here. So while x is evenly divisible y by y and y is less than or equal to 20, we're going to have a check if y is 20. Um, then that will be our answer. <laughs> but it's gonna, we're gonna loop through from y 1 to 20, and if it's evenly divisible through x, um, then we're gonna go to the next y and check again. So if it's evenly divisible by 1, which it will be, it will increase y after the check. If y is not 20, we wanna increase y again. x evenly divisible by 2. And it's 2's less than 20. It's not 20, so we'll keep going. So this will end up, if it reaches this if, and it's true, that means y has reached 20, and the number x will be evenly divisible by 1 through 20. And thus, that will be our answer. So at this point, we'll set the smallest, standing through smallest positive integer, equal to x. And we're going to do a break so we get out of this inner while loop, because we don't need to mess with it anymore. Instead of this while loop, we're going to increase x, well, increment x. Because if the first x doesn't work, or being evenly divisible by 1 through 20, we're going to go to the next number x, and so on and so forth. Until we reach 1 where it is, and that's why we're going to break. After this, we will have... If the smallest number is positive, or if it's greater than 0, Meaning, we, we set it to zero to begin with, so if it is a number that is not zero, that means it has reached this point, and thus we do have the smallest positive number, evenly divisible by one through 20. So we're gonna break here, because we've reached that point. If we haven't, then x will be increased and we'll go through it again. But if we do reach, it'll be the second. Basically, the second we reach this number, it'll break. It'll increment, it'll, this will be true, we'll break, and then we'll go to the end where we'll have our simple printf statement. Percent D. And we're gonna do smallest. And that is it. That is the whole, the whole shebang there, the whole problem. This should compile. We should be able to go and run it. It took a second, but we get 232 
792560, which is the answer. So yeah, that's really, this one's pretty short, and that's all there is to it. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. I will see you on the next one. We'll go over problem six.